Now, please, please, let me advise you. As a young man, as a young woman, grow large in your spirit. Grow very large. Give yourself to fasting. Give yourself to prayer now. I need to tell us something quickly. A call that a spirit being gives you, a call, eh? a spirit being says, I want you to do something for me. In order for you to fulfill that call, you are going to live a life of perpetual sacrifice. Some things in your life will die the day you want to fulfill that calling. I know there's nothing wrong in watching football. I was a footballer, even though you will not believe. I was a midfielder. One day we'll prove it on the... On the. the skills are still there. It's just that I realized I could only use one leg, so I knew there was no, there was no future in that, in that. This leg is dead. It's for walking. But this one can... It can, it can, do, it can move like this. <laughs> Hallelujah. As much as I loved soccer, when God began to put his hand upon me, the first thing he demanded to die was football. I don't know how football affects what God wants me to achieve. Are you there? But if it is a spirit that calls you, in order for you to respond adequately and fulfill what is required, you will need to know the language of sacrifice. Because as you progress, you will now discover that it's only sacrifice that the spirit can understand. You wake up and you start praying in the night. You pray for five hours. It's, you are still feeling as if you have not prayed. When you hit seven hours, then rest now is ministered into your soul. You know that you've hit something in the spirit. Are you there? Then he becomes happy. Meanwhile, you were there for seven hours. It is only by sacrifice that you can fulfill a calling that the Spirit has placed upon your life. Many do not know that a call to serve Jesus is a call to uncompromising sacrifice. And the people that get to serve him the way he desires we be living dead men. These men are dead to so many things. That's the reason why they can serve him effectively. The Bible says, so death walketh in us so that we can be messengers of life to you. It's a work of daily sacrifice, self-deniers. Sleep we go. Oh, food, even finances. Before you wake up in the morning, before you wake up, he has told me the people to release money to. And I know his voice and his dealings in those areas. So I don't wait for the sun to go down before I obey. He will leave me for two weeks and after two weeks he will come back again and say, okay, that account, push this one here, push that. And that's, that's what I get from praying for long. Instructions on how to distribute money. <laughs> One day we landed in Abuja and we had to travel by road back to Makodi. And somebody just saw me and said, Hey, man of God! And he gave me 1.5 million. I just put it in the car and I was uh, excited. When we got to Lafia, he said, Stop, stop. Call, call this brother, give him one million. So we stopped there. We pushed one million. Huh? By the time I got home, it was 80,000 naira that got home. <laughs> so there was no excitement again. We just threw it some, somewhere. <laughs> now, please, please, let me advise you. As a young man, as a young woman, grow large in your spirit. Grow very large. Give yourself to fasting. Give yourself to prayer now.